Welcome back to the Carnivores YouTube channel. Today I got something special going on. Got my neighbor fucking leaf blowing. So sorry, I can't tell him to not do what he's got to do. But today I got Trav. What up? Big Trav with me today. Some thick boys. Thick boys. Yes. Um. So today Travis is going to be trying to prove to me that ceramic coating is the way to go. Trav is a uh, entrepreneur and has a detailing business called Atlas Auto. So what he's going to do to prove to me that ceramic coating can stand up to the swamp house, we're going to be detailing the G8. Or he's going to be detailing the G8. I'm going to detail the G8. All right, what are you planning on doing? All right, so we're going to, first we have to wash it mm. and clean the surface, prep the surface, um, we're gonna do probably a one-step polish on it, and then we're gonna ceramic coat it. All right. And how long that's gonna take? Ooh. <laughs> Depends on how bad. The trunk has a lot of swirls. Mm. Uh, the hood wasn't terrible. Mm. So, depends on how long I gotta work it, but probably about a five, five or six hours. Five or six hours, all right. Man, one thing I give uh, detailers credit for is that work that they be putting in. Bro, I couldn't do it, man. That's why I just fucking spray the shit down, put some goddamn soap on it and scrub it, and then that's it for me, man. So, and that works, it, it'll clean it, mm -hmm. but then it's just gonna get dirty real fast, yeah. and then you gotta do it all over again. Every so, week. Uh, and then you're just wearing the paint out, you're scratching the paint. So what this is gonna do is put a layer of protection on top, so you, when you go wash it, when you go scrub it, mm. uh, one, it's gonna clean up easier and the paint's gonna stay protected. So that's the that's the goal. Gotcha. It'll last longer. And ceramic coating's pretty expensive, right? It's getting cheaper because more and more companies are getting into the game. Gotcha. So you can get a um, you know fifty or sixty dollars a bottle. Okay. It's, it's pretty normal now. It's just usually uh, when you're when you can't when you're not doing it yourself. That's uh that's when it starts to get kind of pricey, correct? Yeah, so the people that do ceramic coating, you're not paying for the, you know, the product being expensive. You're paying for the man hours. You're paying, yeah, you're paying for, you know, up to, you know, 10 hours of work done to the car in preparation sense. for the ceramic coat. That makes sense. Because if you just put ceramic coat on an unprepped surface, it's not going to adhere properly. It's not going to, you know, it's a chemical reaction. Gotcha. So it needs a clean surface to do that. And uh, it's just going to be a waste of time if you don't actually prep the surface. And doesn't it need like a day or something to cure or something to, like that? It needs to cure at least 24 hours before it can touch water. Mm. And you definitely don't want to wash it mm. um, for like seven days. All right. And then you can put um, more stuff on top. All right. And that was one of the reasons why I, um, I didn't want to get into it because yeah, you wouldn't be able to do it here. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, there's no way I would be able to let it sit around or, or whatever. And then also I'm fucking lazy, so I didn't want to do all of the work. And I don't really have the tools to make it easier. So um, yeah, that was one reason why I didn't want to do it. And I just feel like washing, it's simpler. But now that I have something that's nice, to me at least. Yeah, it's nice. And not that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That's two weeks of sitting here, by the way. You should have saw this. I think I have a picture of it, of before and after, of the hood. Okay. Um, when I cleaned it and when it was sitting here for oh. two weeks. Yeah. Like yeah. It was awful. Awful, okay? It looked like I had a camo, like a ghost camo wrap. Yeah, it was weird. Anyway, um, so I'm pretty excited because I want to take care of this thing. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this shit knocked out now and test it during the winter. There you go. Yeah, and make me a believer and then uh, then maybe we'll get that done. But that'll need a lot of paint correction. There's a lot going on on that. I know it looks pretty when I shine it up, but 
there's there's a lot going on there. Well, from ten feet away, it'll look. Like it'll look show, fantastic. It'll look like a show car. Yeah. Pictures, it'll look like a show car. When I um was editing the uh, the rally video, I don't know if you noticed, he went on the rally with us. By the way, I did watch your video. Yeah. So when I was editing the rally video. The uh, vet was super shiny. Mm -hmm. I was so happy about it. Yeah. I was like, oh, look at this thing. <laughs> My car, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Away, it looks awesome. It looks great, man. Yeah, so, um, anyway, we're not going to bullshit anymore. Um, he will be taking the car for a few days uh, because he has a garage to let it cure in. And, um, yeah, I'm happy to fucking have this opportunity to take care of this bad boy. Yeah. Is it a bad boy or a bad girl? Fat, but fat, thick girl. Thick girl. Thick okay. girl. Yeah, she, she big bone. She, got she thick. thick. Big bone, thick. Right? We'll go with that. Yeah, we'll go with that. And then, old. She broke. Old lady. Grandma. Uh, I don't know. Fuck it. <laughs> Too much fun. <laughs> I'll try not to. <laughs> All right, we made it back to the house. Car's about to get washed, so I'm gonna go through the process with you guys so you can see what I'm doing, uh, what products I'm using, and all that. So the first thing we're gonna do is do a decontamination wash. This is gonna get all the waxes, oils, chemicals off the paint. Um, then we're going to do a uh, clay mitt that's going to get all the contaminants out of the paint. We're going to use an iron remover as well to get any little uh, embedded iron out of the paint. We want the surface extremely clean before we start correcting, polishing, and then eventually coating. So I'm going to go through the products I'm going to use right here. We're going to use Adam Strip Wash. Uh, we're gonna use the iron remover spray, and then we're gonna use the uh, chemical guys clay luber, and then the mitt is from the last coat, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we're gonna hit it with the pressure washer and the foam cannons, the MTM foam cannon, and uh, you know just to get the pressure washer there. So, all right, stay tuned. Uh, we're gonna do the wheels first, and then uh, then we'll hit the car. Let's go. So first things first, we're gonna use the strip wash. We're gonna put a few ounces in our foam cannon. Uh, we'll do a little more, why not? This car's a little rough. JK, love you. Okay. I'm gonna shake this up a little bit. is done and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna spray it liberally with iron remover and because this is a white car you're really gonna see this turn purple if it finds any iron so it's gonna look pretty cool here in a few minutes um, Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the, this side first. We don't want this to dry in the sun, so we gotta move really quick here. And you can spray this all over the car: windows, glass. Uh, Trying to get on your brake calipers. So far, see a little bit of purple here the hood you can see that or not see so you can see that those are little iron deposits 
all those little purple, all those little purple marks. So we'll go ahead and rinse that off here. Let's hit it with the clay lube. Okay, so with the clay luber, it's very, very important to keep it lubed up. You don't want to let it get dry. We're gonna spray it heavy on the paint, heavy on the pad, and you're just gonna wipe the, the panels down. Oh yeah, and you can feel you can feel it picking up contaminants. It's gonna be like, uh, kind of grippy. Uh, yeah, I might need two hands for this. I'm gonna put you guys down. All right, so the wash is done. We're gonna dry it off. So let's see if we can get a, Inspection here. I think we're, the trunk was probably the worst on the car. Let's get a good little. Now we can actually see the paint here. So we got a lot of swirls. Honestly, not that bad. Washing the car definitely uh, helped us get through a nice layer of stuff. What up, Zob? Yeah, sounds good too. I didn't rev it up when I pulled in like I should have. You doing a little action on it? You always uh, courtesy rev. Nice. This thing's probably a lot. All right, so you remember the red Corvette? Yep. Uh, this is his. Dang, how many so, cars you got? Huh? How many cars you got? It's got a few. Beast cars. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are in the garage. The car is dry. And we're gonna start polishing. So when you polish, Good thing you can uh, to do is do a little test spot. You can take a test light. You can kind of inspect the paint. Do a test area, see how it comes out, and if it works out well, then you know what to do for the rest of the car. So I think we're gonna do our test spot on the trunk. Cause that was the. Oh yeah. Let's see. If we can Trunk definitely is the worst spot. So, uh, all right. So we're gonna be using the 3D1 hybrid compound polish, and we're gonna try it out on. So this is a very, very um, basic dual action polisher. Um, this is gonna be very, very safe to use if you're a beginner. Um, you're not gonna mess up your paint with something like this. It's very, very um, easy to use. It's not gonna hurt the paint. Um, it's not a forced rotation, which means if you put pressure on the pad, it's gonna uh, stop rotating. So it's gonna prevent you from accidentally burning through your paint. So super easy to use, perfect for what we're gonna do today. Um, we're not gonna try to do a full paint correction. We're pretty much just trying to uh, get some swirls out, get the surface extremely clean uh, so we can coat it. So, uh, let me show you what that looks like and we'll get started. Now, since this is a, a, a new pad, we're going to lube it up pretty good. We're going to use a lot of product. A couple sprays of pad lube on there. We're gonna do one small section at a time. So I'm pretty much just gonna do this half of the trunk right here. And uh, we'll do about four passes, cross hash pattern, 
and then we'll take a look and see what it does. I can take your microfiber towel. I'm just gonna buff it off. Wow, cool. So with one pass, all the light swirls are, are pretty much gone. Uh, the only thing left is gonna be like some heavier scratching, some deeper scratches, which we're not gonna try to mess with today. Um, you know, we could spend 10 hours on this thing and get it looking new, but cool. Quick little update. So we got the trunk, the whole driver's side of the car, the rear bumper, uh, all polished. It is looking really good. Uh, white is hard to tell, it hides a lot, but once you get in real close, you can see all the little imperfections. Um, so since we're about halfway done, we're gonna swap out the pad to another one, uh, and then we're gonna do the roof the hood and then the passenger side stay tuned all right guys she's done well she's not done done uh, the polishing is done uh, she came out really good get a good little reflection there paint is looking good um, really clean now what we're gonna do the final step is we are going to uh, do the ceramic coat. So what you're gonna see me do, um, where is it? Let's go grab it, it's over here. I'm gonna prep the panel before we do the coat with Wipeout. So what this does, it's kind of like an alcohol-based um, prep. So you're gonna spray the panel, wipe it down. It's gonna get all the polish that was left over that didn't get wiped off and uh, make sure we have a squeaky squeak clean surface so that the ceramic can stick to it um, and the ceramic coat that we're going to use is from the last coat it is called black ice so this stuff is pretty cool i have all three of their products they have the last coat then they have amp so amp is kind of like a topper it makes your paint look awesome and uh, makes it super slick but black ice is gonna be your base. This is the ceramic coat. So we're gonna go ahead and hit it with this uh, and then she'll be done. We're gonna let her sit for 24 hours, let it cure. All right, let's see if we can do this with one hand. <clears throat> so you're gonna take your applicator pad and very, this is away from the car, very gently, one spray. That's all you need. Less is more when it comes to ceramic coating. And we are gonna apply it back and forth, just like this. Make sure we're covering every part of the panel. Then we're gonna go up. This ensures that we get good coverage. Okay, 
I'm gonna do this one as well. Okay, you don't need to leave it on there very long. You just gently buff it off. That's pretty much it. We're gonna do a small section at a time. Yeah, it's uh, it's super slick. This is awesome. Now we'll just move on and we'll continue down the way. All right, she's coated fully, top to bottom. The um, wow, she came out really good. So she's protected, James, properly. No more washing this thing with Rain-X. I'm also going to do a little, uh, I'm going to hit the headlights and taillights with the last coat. Um, and maybe something else, we'll find out. But uh, anyway, I'm done for the night. Now we're just going to let her sit and cure for 24 hours and she'll be good to go. And that, my friends, is how ceramic coat of car. What up, B-Rand? What up? <laughs> All right, guys, as you saw, the car is done. It is actually Saturday morning, and we're gonna go meet up with James at Cars and Coffee. This is my good friend Brandon and his son Braxton, and they're gonna roll with us, and we're gonna go see some cool cars today. So, we'll see y'all in a little bit. Let's go. Later. Man, this car sounds good. She a big four-door girl, but she sounds good. What up, Zav? Is that is that one of the Freeman guys in there? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we swapped cars. I was about to say, I thought that was I thought that was yours. Yeah, yeah. So I ceramic coated his uh, G8. Sorry, you're, you're filming. Let's let's chase him down. Let's Sorry. Go, yeah, well, I saw him. I had to go hunt him down. Tell him where we're at. That's your SC. Yeah. He has the other white SC over there. I don't know yeah. if you saw it. Yeah. All right, we'll have to go check it out. Um, <laughs> I thought, I thought I recognized the car, but then I saw him driving, I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, we, uh, we swapped uh, earlier this week, and uh, oh, that's cute. so his, yeah, his car is over here. It looks really good. <laughs> He's going to be excited. He hasn't seen it yet. Did you, uh, did you do all the detailing work on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's uh, here, go like this. Ooh. Oh man. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I noticed there's like just some rock chips, but that's not, that's nothing to do with that. Yeah, there's only, there's only two dents in this whole thing. There's one in the, the trunk right here. Of course, what, Brant. Hidden by the spoiler? No, no, like right here. Well, yeah, you need the. Oh, oh yeah. I can, I can and there's really one in the door, kind of oh, yeah. midway. So it's 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 pretty clean. Obviously, there's some rock chips in the front, but. Ooh. Okay. Wow, I love these so much. The G8s, the Chevy Caprices, the PPVs, as well as uh, there's been a couple SS or Commodores that have been coming through as well. I love these big body American V8 sedans. Yeah. A huge fan. He's got kind of he's got uh, something on here. 
I think it's a uh, Corsa. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds really good. There he is. You had to walk up the hill? <laughs> Dang. She's all lonely over there. Yeah, I know. There's no parking, man. There was that spot next to that uh, Chevelle over there. Ty, I parked there in the vet, and you can't get in and out of the car. Well, your vet's like 10 feet wide, though. Yeah, that's true, but still. <laughs> and then um, they have a spot here, but they're hogging it with chairs. So, uh, been parked there. What do you Look think? Look at this thing, man. Go ahead and give her a rub, rub her down. Well, technically it is. Technically it is. <laughs> man, this shit like it just came off the showroom, man. There's got some more there. Other than the rock chips. Yeah. Damn. That means, that means you drive it. If you have yeah, that's, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Damn. I can see myself. Your headlights and taillights are coated too. Oh, yeah? Because I was about to say that looks shinier. Because I can see the colors. Like the, the the color spectrum and shit. That is dope. And it makes the window tint pop even more, which I didn't even clean the windows, bro. This is just the regular soap. You done with your phone call? Yeah. <laughs> I was looking for you. Yeah, man. Just hang out with Jared. It looks good, man. She's it's smooth. amazing how clean can change a car. Yep. White is tricky to, to do because it's hard to see uh, what's on the paint. Well, I can fucking tell. But, uh, well, I mean, for me, when it's done, it looks good. Wow. <laughs> Even, like, the, the vents. I wonder if you can tell the difference on camera, too. Well, yeah, let's get an after shot of the, the hood. Or the, the <laughs> trunk. the trunk and the, the, boot. And the hood, yeah. Because we had a little before video at your place. Damn. Yo, there was a lot of people eyeing the SC as you were pulling oh, down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, Let, let's go. How many cars does that guy have? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what they're thinking. That's probably what they're They're like, wait a minute. <laughs> Is that the carnivore guy? That's what's up, man. Well, I appreciate it. My pleasure, bro. I, I, it was we'll, a lot of fun. Well, we'll what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to document over the next couple of weeks how well this does at the Swamp House. Here's right? the rule. All right, what's the rule? The rule is you do not put the rain -X mm -hmm. or any chemicals to clean this. We're Just water. Auto soap. Like auto actual soap. soap that's made to preserve. Because what will happen is if you spray chemicals on this, it's just going to eat away at the coating. Okay. And then eventually you're just back to where you started. So okay. Okay. We're going to use. I'm gonna actually. I, I forgot to bring some, but we'll. I we'll go maybe, get some. Maybe next week. I'll. Uh, it'll be seven days. We'll uh -huh. come by. And maybe we'll. Uh, we'll throw a topper on. Uh huh. And I'll drop off some soap you can use. Okay. So you can just hose it down. We're going to say hi to the Suds it, guys, rinse it. Okay. That's it. No. No chemicals. And, All right. Uh, we'll It'll keep it going for a long time. By the way, oh, yeah, yeah, don't, don't, can't forget that. Um, all right, so real quick. Yeah. Soap. Yeah. Soap and water. Soap and water. Not dish soap. Not dish soap, obviously. Uh, auto. Water. Auto. Soap. Auto wash soap. Yeah, I'm gonna give you something. Is something specific? Just if you, something that's not gonna. Yeah, something that's gonna take care company. of it. Yeah. So, um, how often should I wash it? Well, whenever you need to. Whenever I need to. So yeah. if I see leaves on it. Well, just, leaves you can probably just rinse off. But, just rinse uh, off? Yeah, yeah. Well, my water is well water, so it might have like so a... So is mine. Okay, good. So do you have a leaf blower? No. Okay. You can, uh, all right, well, then just take it for a fast drive and, and blow all the water off after you Okay. So sometimes I'll get like a towel and I'll wipe it down. Yeah, I'll let's, get the, let's not do that. Not do that? All right. Air dry. Air dry. Air dry. Air dry. Okay. Like, uh, washing delicate. Uh, uh, Damn, man. So much work. <laughs> You'll see, though, once you uh, start driving, the water's just going to just slick off just of slick it. Right off of it, yeah. Okay, maybe she is. Damn. Shiny. It's so shiny. All right, well, he's going to whip out the drones, and we're going to go ahead and enjoy try some coffee. I'll Morrisville. Oh, yeah? All right, yeah. So I'll check back in with y'all.